John Beverly, the candy man, the businessman with a conscience, on LICMC.net radio every Saturday at 3 p.m. Hi, my name is John Beverly. I am the candy man, which is a businessman with a conscious. I've been in business, or actually doing business for over 40 some years. And my location is 7735 Harper, Detroit, Michigan, 48213. And I've been in business and serving the community for over 40, 45 years or so. And I just believe that every business person that's in business should want to help another. I believe that each one reach one. My partner here, Mr. Marvis Cofield, we believe in one brick, one building, one block at a time. And I just believe that there's enough for everybody. You know, we have a tendency to think and, and just believe that if we help someone else that it would take from us, but it won't take from us. It's just empowering and building us to make us stronger. When we reach out to each one, um, uh, my father used to always mention that if you take a straw and you break it and you put many straws together, there's power in numbers. It begins, it's more difficult to break that straw. So I believe that if all the business people here in the neighborhood, in the state of Michigan, actually all over the world, that we get together and begin to help one another and build one another up and tell people about the other business, not just your own. There's power in numbers. And I just believe that if we continue to reach out and help one another, and actually, you know, with uh, London Doors, I really appreciate her ministry because she, she reached out to me and we reached and began to embrace one another business and begin to collaborate and try to figure out how can we make our business able to help other businesses. And once again, you know, I appreciate you. I appreciate H2 for listening. And remember that I'm a businessman with a social conscience. And I believe that each one of us can reach one, each one teach one. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, this is John Beverly, the businessman with a conscience. And we're located on 7735 Hopper, Detroit, Michigan. Thank you for tuning in. I'm what you call the overseer here at the Accumulon Village, which is a youth entrepreneurship program as well as a youth development center. We uh, teach kids, uh, we have an after school program, we have martial arts, dance classes, drum classes, we skate, we do a little tutoring and what have you. And then we also have what we call the Village Cafe and the entrepreneurship program, which is where, where we teach the kids how to own, operate and run their own business, how wow. to buy items and sell items and profit from what they buy, how to barter, swap trade, do whatever they need to do to run their business. We have, uh, we do a fundraiser where we barbecue and we cook uh, barbecue chicken ribs, steaks, lamb chops, turkey chops, prime rib steaks as well. And on Saturdays, we have uh, the village pizza going on. And that's uh, it's food in uh, Detroit. It's a Detroit style pizza. And that's here at the Accumulon Village as well. And it, we do that with the kids, teaching them also how to run other businesses. The president of our home and foreign mission at Harper Avenue Church of God in Christ. And throughout the year, throughout the summer, just about on once or twice a week, we pass our food here at the Accumulon Village. Uh, we have, you know, grocery items. Sometimes we even have clothes. But most important, I focus on the uh, Christmas holiday to make sure that no one be without a meal for Christmas. And we pass out uh, clothes, we pass out food, enough food to last for that whole week of Christmas from turkey, hams, uh, chicken, 
canned goods, milk, bread, uh, as well as, you know, cereal, different things, enough stuff to, to make that Christmas meal as, and have a, enough left over for a few other days, perhaps that even whole week. But we pass out food here in the community throughout the whole year. When I first met you and your family, you know, you was genuine and you was easy to work with and you guys gave me a break. You, you know, uh, I wasn't able, I was just going in business and just began to do things. And I really couldn't afford to pay and you work with me sometimes, you know, if I had the money, you work with me. If I didn't have it, you still work with me. And as I was coming up before I met you, I run into a lot of people that wouldn't share information with me. They wouldn't help help me even though I was trying to build a business. And, and I placed then that whatever I do, I wanted to make sure I was able to give back. And uh, I have a slogan that I said, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And you can show people that you care about what you do. People will tell you that they, well, I'm gonna do this and I'll do that and I'll support you. But it's not in what you say, it's what you do. And over those years, you was able you and your family to reach out and advertise and do programs and different things for me to help elevate my business. And now that opportunity, things to come full circle, you know, and you're doing what you're doing. I, I happened to look, was watching TV and I saw your uh, show on the TV. I said, I was wondering what happened to Doris. And then I wrote the number down to attack you. And be, we began to talk and and from that conversation, I began to ask you, you know, what is it can we do together? Because I remember what you did for me. And I just wanted to be able to give something back. And after you shared the information that what you were doing and, you know, building people up and helping people go into business and do different things and help people, I thought that was a good idea that we could kind of work together and do something like that. So I felt comfortable working with you because you have always been true. Well, I'm going to turn this around a little bit and just kind of show you guys some of the stuff that what we do and kind of explain as I'm doing this. Okay. To work. Okay, well, maybe I just do it like this here. Are you able? Let me know if you can see this way. Yes. I'm, I'm going to come back for this most important. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, it says using business to teach business. So what I chose to do is with my business, I uh, come aboard with the Accumulon Village because there used to be Giants T-shirts. And what I chose to do, is to, uh, as you can see the pictures of the different people and kids as well, but we're teaching, we take the business that we run here, which is now called the Village Store, the uh, entrepreneurship of the Accumulon Ar Village. So what we do is teach the kids how to own, operate, run their own business and actually run a business because when uh, teaching them theory, teaching business is one thing and that only teaches theory. This is actually experience where they actually can wait on, come in at the end of the day through here. And when people come in through the door, they actually work with customers. A lot of times you'll find that you know, when you first put a kid or a young person in a store to see, you know, and put them behind the cashier, they get a little timid and don't really know what to do. And then, so from experience, they begin to greet the customers, have a conversation with them, you know, make them feel friendly when they're coming in and what have you. And, you know, just be able to wait on customers and uh, teach customer service as well. Father, that's my garden. Oh, bless last year. Yeah. Uh, we're located on Harper Avenue. The address is 7701 Harper, Detroit, Michigan, 48213. The main number is 313-921-1616. My direct number is 313-929-1306. Every day, but it's not business as usual, you know, due to the COVID. We okay. are uh, really get here about nine o'clock and leave about five o'clock Monday okay. through Friday. We make sure to have a mask. If they don't have mass, we'll provide one for them. First, first Friday and third Friday, Avenue Church of God in Christ, where Pastor Benjamin Beverly is our pastor and his 
wife, Jack, missionary with Jackie Beverly. Hold on, John. If you'd like to get that project called Solo to help support us, all you have to do is cash up us again at IWASH80. That's IWASH80. And when you cash up us, also leave your email so we can send you the project. for listening to LICMC.net radio. Now listen to LICMC radio too. We have LICMC.net and LICMC radio too. You can access both by going to LDWCenterprise.weebly.com slash radio. That's LDWCenterprise.weebly.com dot weebly dot com slash radio listen to licmc radio and licmc radio too hi my name is john beverly i am the candy man which is a businessman with a conscious i've been in business for actually doing business for 40 some years and my location is 7735 Harper, Detroit, Michigan, 48213. And I've been in business and serving the community for over 40, 45 years or so. And I just believe that every business person that's in business should want to help another. I believe that each one reach one. My partner here, Mr. Marvis Cofield, we believe in one brick one building, one block at a time. And I just believe that there's enough for everybody. You know, we have a tendency to think and and just believe that if we help someone else, that it would take from us. But it won't take from us. It's just empowering and building us to make us stronger. When we reach out to each one, um, uh, my father used to always mention that if you take a straw and you break it and you put many straws together, there's power in numbers. It begins, to, it's more difficult to break that straw. So I believe that if all the business people here in the neighborhood, in the state of Michigan, actually all over the world, that we get together and begin to help one another and build one another up and tell people about the other business, not just your own, there's power in numbers and i just believe that if we continue to reach out and help one another and actually you know with uh london doors i really appreciate her ministry because she she reached out to me and we reached and began to embrace one another business and begin to collaborate 
and try to figure out how can we make our business able to help other businesses. And once again, you know, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, H2, for listening. And remember that I'm a businessman with a social conscience. And I believe that each one of us can reach one, each one teach one. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, this is John Belby, the businessman with a conscience. And we're located on 7735 Hopper, Detroit, Michigan. Thank you for tuning in. This is Willie Johnson, an ADI virtual actor. Hey, check us out. Our second radio station, LICMC2 Radio. This is Willie Johnson. Looking forward to you listening to us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for listening to LICMC.net radio. Now listen to LICMC radio too. We have LICMC.net and LICMC radio too. You can access both by going to LDWCenterprise.weebly.com slash radio. That's LDWCenterprise.com dot weebly dot com slash radio listen to licmc radio and licmc radio too john beverly the candy man the businessman with a conscience on licmc dot net radio every saturday at 3 p.m LDWC Enterprise, London, and John Beverly, the brand affiliates, present Josiah Hunter with his new talk show, Inspirational Talk. Businesses, churches, ministries, artists, and the community, and more. Promote and inform people about what you are doing. You're invited for interviews with Josiah right on our global media and social media platforms. For more information, contact us at 248-701-0885. You can call toll free at 800-875-0674. You may also email at londondoris at gmail. Dot com L O N D E N D O R I S at Gmail dot com. Josiah Hunter hosting of Inspirational Talk Show. From the words of Josiah, we should encourage our brothers and sisters daily. This is the next level of change. People's hearts are going to be touched and transformed says Josiah Hunter. Thank you for listening to LICMC.net radio. Now listen to LICMC radio too. We have LICMC.net 
and LICMC Radio 2. You can access the both by going to ldwcenterprise.weebly.com slash radio. That's ldwcenterprise.weebly.com slash radio. Listen to LICMC Radio and LICMC Radio 2.